What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to split test your Bing ads. So really how to duplicate them and how to copy and paste those ads into different ad groups or ad sets into campaigns or whatever you want to do, okay? Now, this is where really there is a big difference between Google ads and Bing ads because in Google, you can just simply cut or uh, copy uh, a campaign or ad set or ad in anywhere you want to and you just paste it, right? Here, there's no such thing. So for instance, here's my campaign. Uh, let me go back to campaigns. So for example, if I click this, there is no option to copy it. If I click on my ad set, go back to ad group, um, there is no option to copy that. There is an option to copy your ad, but you can't paste it. So if I copy it here, I click copy, uh, one ad copy, go to an ad group, then paste. So I'm, I'm in my ad group here. I click paste. And it gives me that option and then it doesn't really do anything right uh, so how do you do what do you do in this case how do you duplicate how do you split test how do you test uh, you will need to install Bing Ads editor so let's go here let's go to tools and click on Bing Ads editor uh, the cool thing about this is you can make any changes you want to offline and then when you have internet connection just upload everything um, the uncool thing about it is is that you have to actually go through this process if you want to simply copy and add right otherwise you have you have to just create an ad entirely new so let's just go through this process we'll click on um, Bing ads you can click on download here and just select which one you want I'm using the 64 uh, edition one I'm right you can you can use either one um, so you'll click next you'll download it it'll show you a little thing there down below uh, click on it open it uh, I already have it so let me go to uh, Bing ads editor and it will open up for you once you have it and with your first screen after you do that should look like this. So you'll probably won't have anything there. So we, you'll need to click on account and say add account and put in your email and your password and your account will be added. Simple as that. So I'll, I already added mine. So let me go here. I'll click on open. And here, as you can see, is my account. So here is where we're going to um, make all of our changes. Okay. So, so I, I've, I've tried a little bit here. I'm just going to delete all that. Okay, so here's my campaign. I have one campaign. I have three different ad groups. Let me let me see. Uh, just delete that. Okay, so let's just let's just stick with this. So we have one campaign. We have two ad groups. That's fine. So suppose we want to copy a campaign. Let's start off with that, and then we'll go through other things. So if we want to copy a campaign, here's our campaign. I will simply click copy, and I will click paste. So that's for a campaign and it's copying it's pasting everything we have there and now you should have two right and you can change the names over here so obviously if you copy it uh copy and paste it you want to change the name so you know which one's which but now as you can see now we have two campaigns and we have four ad groups right because each campaign had two ad groups so that's that that's how you copy campaigns um to copy ad groups let's do that so let's go into our ad um different ad sets for each one so each one as you can see has two so suppose we want to I don't know, suppose we want to copy this ad set, we'll click copy here, uh, we'll go here, and we will paste it in this campaign. So as you can see, make sure it's highlighted here uh, at the bottom, it's highlighted ad groups. So if I go here, right, and that's the campaign, make sure it's on ad groups, and then we'll just copy it. So again, let me go here, and I will paste it there. And there you go. So now I have three ad sets here. I have uh, two here as before, and three here, okay? So let's go into now it's delete it's still not updated uh now, now now let's do ads okay so ads we'll need to click on this text ad and we'll need to select our uh ad set and campaign within it i agree it's it's not as simple it's definitely not as convenient it requires you to, to kind of go back and forth uh, unfortunately that's the only way to do it now so on our text ad here we have our text so it gives you you know the title the title to the status uh, so we I, again we can just copy it and we can paste it here uh campaign yeah so so you can select your uh, campaign select your ad group so so that's nice and there you go it's done so now i can shift click for example too so like we did in google right we we uh we had about like eight different ads that we were split testing against each other you can do that so we can copy and again we can just paste it here 
And now we have four ads, so just change them out over here, right? Whatever you want to change, if you want to change the title, you want to change the, the ad text, uh, maybe the URL, whatever it is you want to change, uh, you just do that here. Here's the URL options, here's the tracking template, all that, and that's it. Now, once you're done, let's click on post, and then we'll refresh our page. So saying one won't post, that's probably because we deleted them. Okay, so actually, one thing I forgot to do, we just have to rename them. So. Uh, it, it's posting duplicate uh, names for the ad sets in the campaign. So one thing we need to do is to just change the name. Uh, so guys kind of rushed ahead there for a bit, uh, but I've added, so I've changed the name a bit here. So if I go back to my campaigns, uh, as you can see here, I have CB income two, then here I have CB income three. I did the same thing for the ad groups as well. Uh, so here I have one, two and regular one. Uh, we need to do the same thing for the ad, uh, expanded ad texts as well. So let's say, you know, one, this one's two, this one's three, and this one we will make four, okay? And now it should be fine, so let's go ahead and click post again. Uh, I'm gonna click post on all campaigns, and now it should say what it's going to post, okay? There should be any, uh, shouldn't be any errors there. Then I'm going to refresh the page again. All right, almost there. Okay, so let's go back here and let's refresh that page. And here, as you can see, we have our two and three with all our ad sets. So there you go. Uh, we've just duplicated it within it. We should see all the different ads. So let me see. There was one where we had four different ads. Was it this one? Yeah. There you go, right? And if you want to make any changes, again, you would have to, again, open up uh, this Bing Ads Editor. So now we can just close it because we've done everything. And then we would have to open it again, open it, um, you know, make all our duplication, make all of our split testing, and then post it, and then come back again and see what the results are and uh, rinse and repeat. So that's about it. I hope that was helpful for you. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.